Welcome back for another episode of Presents here at the North American Guitar. I'm Lindsay, and today it is my honor to show off this incredible 50th anniversary mid-size guitar from Grit Laskin. Now, for folks who know Grit, he is he's well loved and highly sought after, not only for his beautiful guitars, but also for his incredible inlay work. And for folks who don't know him, you've likely experienced the influence that he's had on the guitar building world because he's one of the co-originators of the, the top sound port as well as the Laskin style beveled armrest and beveled rib rest, three features that you might see on countless guitars now made by other luthiers. Now every year, TNAG has one guitar that they have on order with Grit, sort of as our store guitar. And this year, uh, our CEO, Ben Montague, upon noticing that it was Grit's 50th year of making guitars, he started building back in 1971, told Grit that he should build basically whatever he wanted, but the two directives that he asked for were that he would include some influences of his own in the guitar inlay work, as well as a little bit of himself. So now before we dive into this incredible inlay work, we're gonna talk a little bit about the canvas upon which that is on. Now this is Grit's mid-size model, which is one of three that he makes. It is rather similar to a Dreadnought in terms of its overall dimensions, but it is a bit more shallow, and obviously it's curvier as well. So it's a great do-it-all guitar that can tackle a lot of different things. And the back and side wood here is probably what's gonna catch most people's eye. In this case, it's Brazilian rosewood with an incredible sap line, which Grit said is fairly unusual for him to, to be working with. And the top is Sitka spruce, which Grit is a great champion of. He gets his Sitka especially from a, a company that really only deals in cutting woods for musical instruments. And in their collection every year, they have a very select stack of sort of the premium tone woods and that is the only stack that Grit chooses his tone woods from. So he's really getting the cream of the crop. And then even from those, he really specially selects the, his favorite pieces out of that group. So any of the Sitka that he uses is really 4A or 5A grade Sitka. The tonal combination of these two tone woods is really everything that you could hope for from a Brazilian rosewood guitar. The Sitka balances it out beautifully, adding some warmth and clarity and really emphasizing the, the, the strong trebles and the strong bass that Brazilian rosewood provides. Now let's take a look at some of the finer details of this guitar. Grit does use abalone on a lot of his instruments, but this one features a special material called dichrolam. Dichrolam was first created as sort of an alternative material for folks who were having a harder time finding natural materials like abalone and wanted to give them something that was man-made and sort of more sustainable to use. But in this case, it's also still very rare. Grit doesn't have a lot of sheets of this laying around and he saves them for some special guitars. So we get some really beautiful sort of red and blue sparkle on the rosette on this one. Now, last but not least, let's take a look at this inlay art. Like I said, Ben had asked Grit to include a little bit of himself as well as one of his own personal influences on, on, on this one. And so Grit sort of take, took this opportunity to not only do that, but to also sort of bring in some elements of humor as well as realism, which he's a really big fan of. Often when he does his inlay art for other for customers, they often want sort of more idealized, beautiful sorts of depictions of, of people or things, but Grit really likes to have a little bit of like human element um, in his art as well. So he really kind of incorporated that here. As you see, his workbench, which is kind of looks like it's like it might look in reality. It's not quite pristine. It looks like it's actively being used. You have Grit there himself working away. Up here on the third fret, we've got a sign that really does hang in Grit's workshop, reading handmade guitars only at this point. And up here on the first fret, we have Grit's hand, which is putting into place the left hand of Peggy Seeger, one of his biggest influences, as well as a personal friend. And of course, above her, we've got her partner, Ewan McCall. For folks who don't know, Peggy and Ewan were huge influences on the, both the British and American folk revivals, and they've had a lasting impression on Grit's music up until today as well. So that's why this guitar is called Grit Gives Peggy a Hand. Thank you so much for checking out this Grit Laskin 50th anniversary guitar with me today. If you want to learn more, please come visit us at thenorthamericanguitar.com and don't forget to hit subscribe so that you never miss any of our Presents videos or other content. Thanks for watching.